Frank K says we worked out Brad Wing today. Shout out to Brad Wing, man, former teammate. He's an Aussie as well, now that I think about it. LSU, Tiger, yeah, I like Brad Wing, man. Let's get it. You know the chat likes hot seat talk, I think. Oh, God, don't do that. You could easily don't put two that. and two together don't here. Don't start that. Don't do that. No, you could do that, though. If you're being <laughs> real about it, you could definitely do that. You can definitely do that if you're being real about it. I don't want to do that, but you know, I press my dude. You know press my guy. Press my dude. I rock with press. My little man rock with press. But in terms, yeah, well, yeah, we in terms had of, him on a couple yeah. times. He's a good dude. Awesome, man. Like, Press is a dope dude, but when we're talking about is he above you bringing in guys to work out? Is he above competition right now? Unfortunately, no. And that's just part of this level, man. Why wouldn't we look at Braden Matt? Did he sign somewhere? I'm not sure. I feel like I did see him sign somewhere, though, bro. I could be off, though. Free agent. So maybe. That's weird, then. Like, Brad Wing out of nowhere. Because <laughs> I think of it like this, man. They know what they have in Presley. Presley has definitively beat out Braden, man, at least this offseason. That's why they made the move that they made, right? In terms of keeping them both, but then ultimately cutting Braden. And we've went forward with Presley. So to, it could literally just be that they already know what Braden is. The reason why Brad Wing is intriguing was because when Danny Smith first came here and he started talking about the directional punting, Brad Wing was actually the guy here. And Brad has some moments with that. Brad's a very strong leg. It was just a very different style of punting than what Brad was accustomed to. So it took some time for even him to get his consistency right with it. But then ultimately, that's when we moved on. And I want to say that's when we brought in uh, Jordan Berry. And he was here for the duration. Yeah. But it's all about the placement. He wants that hang time, four plus seconds. He wants that ball outside the numbers. And he wants it there every single time. And when it's not, you can see how it can affect you. Heck, you watch the Jordan punt Barry's return. Jordan Barry's a free agent. Yeah. That's another one that potentially I'm like, all right, maybe you spend the tires on him. But in terms of would you bring him in, do you need to bring in Jordan Barry for a workout? Do you need to bring in Brady Man for a workout? Probably not. You're probably real you familiar with them. You've seen enough. Brad Wing, interesting because of what we talked about, but you still need to see that. So that's the workout part. But for Press Man, I don't – I don't think that he's in danger of this week, but I do feel like if he were to go out there Monday night and not put together a better performance, a more consistent performance, I do think that type of stuff becomes more prevalent and more of a pressing, like, yo, we feel this. Because, yeah, did he have a couple of good points? Yes, but did he throw out some, you know, not-so-good stuff out there? Yes, he did. It, it This isn't the first year. It's not the second year. So that's the timing of it as well. And now when you start talking about the position, along with yeah. what equity you have here, you're not a high-end first or second rounder. You're not playing a sexy position. They don't have to continue to, you know, be as patient with that at this stage because they're saying to themselves, if they feel like they're contenders, we can't be slacking in this phase because you saw that Monday night game, right? Walk off. Where was that punt? middle of the field it cannot be there bro it can't because it makes it very challenging on everybody in terms of covering kicks man that ball in the middle of the field is a way higher probability of it being a return you gotta have that placement right you also gotta have that distance and that hang time all of it goes together so when you can't depend on it man you start looking like all right maybe we need to draft something if you remember for the bills they did draft something it just so happened that it was a little you know stuff came out but then he got cleared but, yeah, so it's – I ain't surprised by it all the way, man. Hopefully, Presto lock in this week, man. Let's have a better performance, baby. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't think anything's happening this week, but things could heat up throughout the month depending yeah. on how Presley plays. What's funny, though, is how we're doing all this due diligence with our punters recently. Yeah. Whereas, I'm telling you, uh, and because this has to do with Tomlin, too. Tomlin was here when this was going on back in, like, 08, whenever we had that Super Bowl champion team, mm -hmm. Super Bowl 43 and whatnot – we had the worst punters of all time. These guys were so bad. Thank God our defense was like absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. These were the worst punters I've ever seen. So I don't know why. Like randomly, like now it seems we've, we're doing all this extra due diligence on punters. Like 
what were we doing back then? Like these guys were yeah. so so bad. We oh, should have been bringing no. in a new guy every week because oh, no, we kept funny, we dog. kept rolling with this dude, and we knew he was gonna punt it twenty yards every time. No, it was like, funny. why? That is funny. Get this guy out of here. That's but Tomlin funny. was the coach in both instances. I don't I don't know what he was doing back then. I have no clue. Maybe he felt more confidence with the offense and defense as a whole. And he felt like he could maybe get away with special teams. At least whereas, this guy would get it up in the air. Yeah, whereas now he's like, all right, we got a little bit less margin for error. Honestly, we I got to be see a little that. more buttoned up. I, I could yeah. see that. Like him at the young Tom one at yeah. the time just being like, it don't even matter. Right, like, like bro, we straight. I got this. My he's coming off of a Super Bowl. Good. Yeah, he's coming off a Super Bowl. Like, I got a running game. I got defense. We all right. No, this was the Super Bowl year. The whole the whole no, no, season. No, no, I'm up. saying he's coming off a Super Bowl in Tampa. Uh, uh, yeah, because he was a part of that staff, and then from there he went to Minnesota, and then from there right. that's when he came. So it's like he still feels good about you know. And you say yeah. sometimes he will be arrogant about the defense, oh, and you're saying like bro. I believe in us so much. Hundred percent, it it's gonna work. Hey, you're running it wrong. <laughs> you're like coach, I can't cover this dude, bro. <laughs> I've seen Law Dog have to guard Julian Edelman, and he says, "Bro, just make it competitive." And you're like, <laughs> oh my "Coach, God. it ain't no competitive about this, bro." It ain't. It's getting gory. All right. It's looking real. Just ah, coach, stop. Save my dog, bro. You why are you doing him? Like he don't need this on his life. This bad his conscience. But he can't sleep at night behind this man. We all was watching that. We all felt that. Yeah, <laughs> that's the arrogance, bro. Absolutely love Coach T to death though. That's my guy. That's my guy, guy. But yeah, he'll hit you with that, bro. You just running it wrong. You, hey, law it off. Give ground. Fight your leverage. All right. Don't get beat to your leverage. Competitive way. Like coach, you can say that till you blue in the face. He cannot guard Julian Edelman, okay? If you want, he can't guard him. It ain't happening. None of us can. Put a safety on him, push a on him, all right? If it ain't one of them two, it ain't happening. But they had a Gronk, so you know how that go. Today's show is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbooks. You know, the number one rated sportsbooking app. Not only are they safe, but they are secure and they are reliable. But the beauty is, when we talk about them, we rock with promo codes because we're people for the people that's what we are all right we try to you know help y'all help us help everybody else out all right and the way we do that is this when you download the app and you go to make that first deposit right because you're gonna have to have a little bit of something in your account so you can get a chance to make some money potentially when you do that right you can put at least a minimum of five dollars in but if you add the promo code moats you will also get an additional two hundred dollars in free bets to go out there and use and have a little bit more fun as well man it's a pretty dope concept all right so that's the promo code you see it right there stop wasting time with it as well but at the same time deke we all ain't got self-control sometimes you or someone you know has a gambling problem maybe they need crisis counseling or even referral services well there's a number and uh a text number for those specifically living in new york to to use but for everybody else there's a number you could dial and that number is one eight hundred gambler 